What's going on guys? Louise here. Today we're going to be doing HM 2015 Auto Mid Surfacing with Advanced Extract Options in which we'll learn about the Offset plus Planes plus Sweep option and how to close gaps when you generate a mid surface. So let's get right to it. The file we'll be using for this one is the Insert Underline Planes. Um, the model is like a compartmented tray and let's put it on shaded mode for a better view. What we want to do is create a mid surface ignoring these two little indentations with holes. So to extract the mid surface go to the geom page then mid surface panel. In the last tutorial we used the auto extraction function but this time let's first check the extract options. So click on it and the offset plus planes plus sweep option is already selected which is what we want um, back to the auto extraction sub panel click on any surface then extract zooming in we see that the walls are not crossing each other as we expected so we'll have to correct that now set the geometry visualization mode to mixed so this shows the geometry and topology features um, to close these gaps, select the Entering Edit Tools and click Show Edit All. Then HyperMesh will create a plate temporary component for each plate it has detected in the model. And we recognize they are temporary due to this um, little sign here. Let's hide the components body one and middle surface. Verify that the full plate selector is active and select this green surf. Now right click on it and all plates of the planar plate 0 are hidden. Do that again for the exterior sides here, here and here. So components 2, 3 and 4 are also hidden. See that this rib in the middle was divided into 3 components. We want to unite them so the gaps are closed when we update the mid surface. So select them all, verify the plate type is set to planar, and click Merge Plates so they are united. Let's do the same thing for these two perpendicular rib, ribs. So select these two, Merge Plates, select these two others, and Merge Plates again. Then click update and when it's finished, click return. Let's hide again the body component and check the ribs. We see they are still not properly crossing because, because of the holes in the middle of the notches. So let's find a way to remake the mid surface and tell HyperMask to ignore these holes. Back again to show edit all. Let's hide all components except the plate edge. Now go to the model tree, select it, right click and isolate. Now activate the single surf selector and pick this, these surfaces comprising each hole. So pick this one and then this one. Move to the other, then this one and this one. Then click on not a trim surface. HyperMesh will create a new temporary component for it. Then click update and return. Let's check the model again. So first hide the body component and we see that the edges at the crossing of the ribs have turned yellow indicating they are a non-manifold or in other words a T connection which is what we wanted. Now we could mo move on to meshing our mid surface and make our analysis. So that's what I have for you guys today. Hope you learned something useful. Um, if something didn't work out for you, just let me know in the comments. Remember to subscribe for new tutorials, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.